Uh, we are at Lewis Hills uh, Trailhead, and this is a trip we've had planned for quite some time. We've got tonight and tomorrow night, and then we're gonna be hiking back out on Monday morning. Tomorrow, our plan is hopefully to hike to the highest point of land on the island. Yep. after four and so we get camp set up and then time for supper and then total relaxation for yeah for the rest of the afternoon figure we got about just under 3k just under 3k to make it to the cabins yeah yeah and we're then, traveling light yeah but at the very least today we'll be hiking to the tallest point on the island which is pretty cool that's pretty cool yeah i think it's pretty cool yeah Much worse than right here. Aliens? <laughs> aliens? Oh, definitely aliens. Yeah, it's gotta be. Gotta be. pretty good coming up it was pretty rocky at the beginning but and then it turned to some nice kind of tundra type yeah yeah anyway i guess we'll make the last push to the hill yep it's uh it's five to ten so yeah let's do it let's do it
snowmobile from a snowmobile. Uh, so, like a cigarette? Yeah. yeah. A couple smokes in there. The lighters. And the chips. There's a, a protein bar that protein expired bar back in 2017. Pre-COVID. Oh, what's this? Can. Can, can college. college. Hat. Spoon. Uh, How, uh, when did this bar expire? It's like 2013. Travel bug. Travel bug. Lunch is done, and we're just relaxing here now, enjoying the vistas. The views are spectacular. We're kind of just dropping off the past the cabins and came down over this side. Just, just too windy up top. Yeah. It's just you know just a couple hundred meters, but it's a fairly steep descent here, so you can drop off the highest point there. And does that look like some rain? Yeah, it does. Look some fog rolling like, or something. Yeah, something. Yes. Something in the air, it's like it's like there's a haze or something. Yeah. No, but that doesn't mean we're not going to get a little sprinkle or a little shower because you know we're a Newfoundland, so the forecast is more of a suggestion than an actual forecast at times. But I think the plan is to uh, take our time. We've been taking our time all day. This has been the relaxing part of the trip, and uh, just kind of make our way generally back towards camp. Whenever we get there, we get there. And uh, just relax, rest up. Because tomorrow's going to be a bit of a hectic day. It's going to be an early rise, early start. And we're going to get there and cover, what is it, 10 clicks? About, yeah. About 10 clicks back out. And we had all of that steep descent now to do, which is, on my knees, it's worse than the ascent. <laughs> so we'll have to take our time. and but it's a beautiful day, but yeah, you're right, that definitely looks like rain showers. It does. Hopefully it's, well, towards us. <laughs> Wind's going that way, so hopefully it's moving away from us. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll see. How you doing? Good. Yep. Yeah. snacks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we uh, we got back from the Cabbix, which was awesome. That was oh, pretty cool. that was a, that was pretty cool. Yeah. And yeah, that's uh, pretty spectacular. Yeah. We haven't been doing much since then. No, I actually laid down in the tent and had a little nap. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of laid down and just relaxed. relaxed. Actually, lose consciousness, did you? No, I did not. But <laughs> I got up a little bit of wood for a fire later on. So we're not inside the confines of a park, so mm -hmm. and uh, it's hard going looking for wood. A lot of this, oh like the really the only option is like thick, like Tuckamore. Yeah, 
which is really spiny and difficult to break. So very difficult to break, kind of. Yeah. We're kind of scrounging, but well, we'll be able to have a small fire tonight. Small fire. The wind has moderated somewhat, although every now and then you get a gust. Mm -hmm. Still cool though. Like sitting yeah. here in a t-shirt, like it's uncomfortably cool. I'm not, yeah. I'm not froze or anything, but it's like. Sometimes it seems to be coming from this direction. <laughs> yeah. This direction. Is, I uh, oh. I don't know how we could have. I mean, there weren't really a whole lot of options for us setting up the tents in terms of orientation. Um, but it, I don't think it would have mattered anyway because the wind's just been everywhere. So right now we were looking at our food bags and saying, "Well, that's a lot of food to carry back tomorrow." So we're, so we're about best to lighten the load. trying to lighten the load a little bit and having some snacks before we have our actual supper later. But it's early yet it's only four a little after four o'clock so yeah but i think it'll be an early turn in tonight yep and an early rise tomorrow yeah we're planning to get out get out of here be leaving here by around seven tomorrow morning yeah so. yeah ideally could you be back to the car by lunchtime be yeah yep. would be our goal so we'll see so we're uh cooking up supper do you want to show them the, uh, do you have it or do I, I have it. I have it, I, that's all right, that's my bad. Oh, yeah. Lasagna. <laughs> Lasagna. It's a ready wise brand. I don't know. I've had it before. Yeah. We both had it. We had it, actually. Snow Harbor. Yeah. We have one of these, right? This, this. I like it. It's, that one's a decent one. About the flavor. <laughs> See, okay, the joke is, I don't like anything that's got any more flavor than Salt and pepper and onion in it, <laughs> apparently. So, well, anything other than that, and you start complaining about oh, it's too spicy. Right? <laughs> hey, oh, I was raised on a very bland diet of salt and pepper. <laughs> salt and pepper. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, if you're wondering why Dad looks like he's bundled up, ready for a winter trip, it's because the wind is absolutely frigid. Yeah, I'm bundled up here too, yeah. but uh. Yeah, wind, it's uh, it's it's a case of the uh, wind chill, right? Because it out of the wind, actually, you know, it's actually quite nice. But with the wind blowing and the temperature of the wind, and like my hands feel like it feels very fallish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't really judge. I'm wearing my <laughs> base layer under my shorts. Yeah, you didn't bring pants. You no, the, you just brought shorts. Yeah, the forecast, and that's something to, to always keep in mind. Like. You know, the forecast calls for a certain weather or whatever, and you, you know, you pack accordingly, but always be prepared to uh, to adjust. And uh, just seeing some cloud, some cloud cover here now, it looks like a little bit low cloud. I don't know, we may get fogged in before it's all said and done. But yeah. Anyway, that's okay. it. Good morning. Had a relatively peaceful night sleep last night. And we're up and on the go, as you can see, before the sun's up. It's, uh, what, 
6.33, and uh, we're packing up camp here now. We decided, rather than pull around and get breakfast, we were gonna get, while the getting was good, while it was nice and cool, it's soon be light enough to navigate around. It looks a lot brighter on camera than it actually is. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna head and get the roughest, uh, the most difficult part of our hike over, getting down this valley, over the spur, down to the gorge, and then down to where the river is running out the gorge, where it's uh, not so, not so uneven and whatnot, and then probably and then have kind of a, I guess a brunch, would you say, sir? It's supposed to get, yeah. So we'll get the majority of our hiking done, or I know the the worst of the hiking done before it gets too, too warm, right? So that's the plan. So we're just breaking camp and we're just gonna pack up and head out. And once we get to our uh, location, uh, then we'll probably stop and have some breakfast or whatever we're gonna have to eat and, and then make the push, the final push then to, to the car. So yeah, that's the plan. It's always good to have a plan. I've had some issues on this trip with uh, <laughs> tripod <laughs> usage. My regular tripod broke like just before, like literally just as we were getting ready to leave for this trip. Um, so I had my backup one, which the legs just snapped right off partway through this trip. So now I'm using Dad's trekking pole with the tripod attachment. So, and a lot of it's just being shot on hand. So. I apologize for any shaky footage, but it's the best I can do. <laughs> it's pretty hard to make this landscape look bad no matter how you're filming it. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, knees are achy, but I'm upright, and uh, that's all that really matters. For those of you who don't know, Dad's had two surgery on both knees. Well, I've had operations done on both knees. Yeah, twice I've had both knees done twice. Yep. Torn meniscus and stuff. So, the fact that so, he's even out here doing this and... And I'm as old as I am, because I'm old! Well, <laughs> no, the fact that you're doing it is a... Uh, it's I just guess. proof that if you really want to do something bad enough, yeah, you can make it work. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you put you set your mind to it, <laughs> and have some good meds. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of meds. Lots of meds. <laughs> to kind of dull the pain. <laughs> no, it's good, and like having uh, having you as a as a as a partner keeps me young. So uh, you know, because you're often the one to say, "Oh yeah, that'd be a cool hiking trip." And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, "Oh, like a long way." <laughs> But, you know, and then we do it, and uh, you're my motivation to keep going, so I thank you for that. And uh, But we wouldn't do it if we didn't love it. No, exactly. Yeah. Here we go. Well, that was that was the worst of it for today, I think. I think so. Well, in terms of technical stuff, yeah, pretty much now it's just a bit of a rock scramble until we hit the flatter part of the valley and there are the gully and then we're we're out. We're laughing. Yeah. Whew.
How you feeling, Deb? Nice. It was nice to dip our toes in the in the river, cool off because it was getting warm. I yeah, was warm. We got this wicked view now before we take off from oh, the Lewis yeah. Hills. Lewis Hills, worth the trip. Mm-hmm. Do your research. Once you hit the trailhead, until you basically get up out of the gorge. You, you're out of out of range. You're you're off the grid, right? Mm -hmm. There's no so. Keep that in mind. Yeah. And uh, you know, always file a flight plan with your loved ones. If you're going to be gone this number of days, back by this time. If not, you know, call somebody. Making good time. Making good time. It's uh, what? yeah, but 10:30. 10:30. Yeah. And we're on the other side, of Fox Island River. Yeah. And feeling pretty good. Yeah. Looks like knees are a little achy. <laughs> That makes my knees break. <laughs> Maybe once or twice. Maybe once or twice. All right, so we have made it back to the car and we're gonna start heading out the, uh, the logging road logging on the way home. It's about an hour and a half to drive because you can't go fast at all. But anyway, we're back and uh, our gear is stowed and there's gonna be a lot of laundry <laughs> washing up to do when we get home yep. and mud to scrape off stuff. But hey, it's done and I really thoroughly enjoyed the trip. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I must say, it's I, I highly recommend it. Anyone get a chance to do it, do yep. it. Take a buddy, you want, don't, I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend going alone. No, but not. uh, yeah, really yeah, enjoyed it. It was great. So, that's it from us. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this adventure. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed and like the video and share it with someone you know. And we'll see you on, on our next one. one.